We all know the EPA fuel cans suck. This style of can works a whole lot better when I'm fueling up all the equipment that I have, bobcats and tractors and such. Um, I don't have to go into all the reasons why it's way better than the EPA can, but it's old school, right? You've got your spout, you've got your vent, everything's very simple, everything's easy, and these have always been on the expensive side of cans. That's fine, I suppose. But a couple years ago, Tractor Supply had them at a fairly discounted price, which seems like it's about the same as all of them are becoming now, a much, uh, much better price than they used to be. But the Tractor Supply ones, I've noticed, I've been getting, uh, seems like I've been getting a lot of water. I've been tra changing out a lot of uh, fuel filters, getting a lot of water in my uh, diesel and sure it's there's a lot of reasons there's condensation and things like that but also not ideal is that Let's see if we can get a close-up on that here that thing is threaded in and then something in the truck hits that and it's gone and uh that's probably a decent way for water to enter also. But kind of makes you feel like maybe water's been entering there all along. So that's not ideal. The vent caps. Now this one actually will tighten up and that's good. But I have some, uh, some fellas with some monkey hands and uh, they like to really tighten things down and it just Tightens on down till it pops and then it just, and you could actually pull it right off. Not ideal. So, at the feed store the other day, I see that uh, DeVault has started selling a can at a decent price. Seemed like a very sturdy can. The feed store only had red so I went on, I'm not sure if I bought it on Amazon or not, but um, here's the code for it. But I felt like it was a very decent can in all things. I wanted yellow to show that it was diesel I was hauling. Um, everything seemed pretty square with it. Comes with a cap, possibly, uh, I couldn't tell you if it's better quality. It's certainly just plastic though, right? And then, uh, and just the standard, same thing as here. It's got this end on it. Doesn't really change much for me. Maybe the cap is a little bit better than this one, maybe but not ideal still. But then I see that, uh, you know, you'd think I would have figured out how to say who they were. Is it AI-13? AI-13. bringing quality back to America. And that seems to be the case. So these, are pretty solid, pretty good aluminum. Kind of sexy, really. Got a O-ring inside of there. Really seal it up, so keep the condensation out. Keep the rain out. Real nice, nice threads in there. And uh, there's billet products. Race nozzle, they call it. Okay, and when you open this up, you see it says, please use Teflon tape on the threads. And that's 
relatively obvious, right? We've got aluminum on aluminum. It's not gonna be the most uh, watertight and you don't wanna have to tighten that too much. So there we go. So that goes in there. That's not getting knocked off by some chunk of equipment, that's for sure. And then it's got this cap. Pretty nice cap. Um, it's got an O-ring on it. That's real nice. Just this thing in focus. A real nice O-ring on there. Seals down against this. Um, real clean. Come on, focus. Real clean looking. Real sturdy. Seems like it ought to last a while. Seems like I ought to be able to beat it around in the back of the truck and not have it get destroyed. Nice logo on there, AI-13. See if she threads on to the DeVault. Threads on real good. Oh, it's grinding past something it doesn't like there, which is kind of cool. Let's see what that was. I'm not really sure what it peeled off of there, but obviously something wasn't a perfect fit. If I had to guess, it would be the, the formed plastic. But it does go on nice and tight. Now, here's my complaint, and it's probably not their fault, it's probably me, or laying around in bed ordering this stuff at night instead of doing it when I ought to be paying attention. But, this was a real disappointment. Got these, these uh, vent caps. Wish I knew what a LC2 style jug was. I wouldn't have ordered them. I would have ordered the right thing, maybe, because this is too small. So I'm gonna have to send for some new vent caps because I definitely want the vent cap here. Now possibly I could have just bought the whole jug and everything from AI-13, but I had already purchased these DeVaults and I like the style. I like the vent being on the handle here so that possibly I don't know how to describe that, but I think when that sucker is turned upside down, fuel flowing this way and air flowing this way is gonna be kind of real, real nice. It's gonna flow real good, so. For now, this is what we're dealing with. And uh, we'll get a aluminum vent cap on there and we'll be rolling. Let me know what you think.